bad damage and seen, heard some pretty harrowing stories. Uh, you know, and it's, uh, it's a pretty tough cleanup going on here. A lot of people have lost a lot of things, fortunately, not lives. That is always the most important thing. Um, I know uh, the Premier and the provincial government are working around the clock to get everything fixed up and get lives back to normal. In the last 36 hours or so, we've been positioning Canadian Forces assets in place to help deal with some of the uh, more serious situations that that's required. And Premier and I have talked and we expect to, uh, to have a request almost, I guess now, and right. we'll be starting that's to move fair. stuff into into place right. in the next few hours. So uh, we continue to work together on this, but uh, uh, congratulations, Premier, on the good work. That people, people at least seem to be pretty confident that the, the rescue and cleanup work is all underway. Well, I mean, thanks for it. It's important that you're here. It's important that the Prime Minister sees it firsthand because, as some of the people were saying, it was replacing the infrastructure is important as well. We've done it during Chantel. We put the, and as Fabian knows too, and Tom knows, and the residential area held up as a result of the proper replacement of infrastructure. So. On a go-forward basis, we need to make sure that we put in the best we can to to facilitate if this ever happens again. So, but to have them here and to have them hear the stories, to see it firsthand, and go to the houses and talk to the people, I think is important. And I just want to thank you for coming. And the cooperation between the federal, provincial, municipal governments, local service districts, and even communities like Crowdy, where the people are working together, it's a good example of how Canadians come together and mobilize in order to help each other out. We were in one community down there. Next Fontaine a couple of days ago, and there's a dozen people in the kitchen of this elderly man's home, an 80, 80 year old man's home, working to clean it up, get it ready, get it ready so we can get back in the home again. So, so it's good. It's nice to see people working together, and the sense of cooperation is good. But they just need, people just need to be patient because the magnitude of the damage here is widespread, and it's in the center of the island, to the east and to the south coast. Have you seen any No, never. You know, we've had heard, we had situations in Stephenville, we had Badger. Uh, you know, we had Chantel, but nothing compared to the magnitude of this because it's not focused, it's not localized, it's, it's everywhere. And that's why it's important that we give people the assurance that we're doing the best we can. We still have a couple of dozen or more isolated communities down that we're working on. So, But, you know, we're, we're working together, and that's the biggest thing. So we get the cooperation, the weather and call cooperation with us for a while, that would help as well. Thank so, you, huh? Prime Minister. Is this one of the worst places? Well, I've, I've never seen any, you know, I've seen flooding. I've never seen any flooding like this. Uh, I've never seen never seen damage like this in, uh, in Canada. I guess we're, we're standing at one point, the water would have been over our heads here. It's, it's, it's hard to imagine. How soon can we expect the military, Mr. Harper? Uh, better to ask uh, Minister McKay that, but as I say, assets have been, we've been moving them into place for the last day and a half, so I think they're going to be here pretty quick. You're going to have some uh, some naval uh, to assist, obviously, on some of, the, some of the water transportation, also some Army engineers, I think, will be coming over. Good. Thanks, guys. Good. Okay, we better.